Good evening, everybody, and welcome to getting a hold of your emotions during the holidays or before the holiday stress hits you. My name is Tammy, and I'm from Living Healthy for You, and I want to thank you for joining me tonight, whether it's on live or the replay in the Facebook group or my YouTube channel. I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope this is very helpful. If you are watching this on YouTube, I hope that you subscribe to my channel to see future videos, and you make a comment, share, hit the like button, um, so we can get this message out about how powerful these CPTG essential oils are. So I'm going to get started with the class tonight because I know everybody's busy and I try to keep my class under um, 30, usually 20 to 30 minutes. So you can get back to your evening, whether it's getting ready for work, getting the kids ready for bed, having a relaxing evening, whatever it is. I know everybody's super busy. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to get started with my class. Okay, share screen. There we go. And uh, there we go. All right. So this is called getting a hold of your emotions before the holiday stress hits. Now, it is the first week of November, and many of us are already thinking about the holidays because actually Thanksgiving is only a couple weeks away. And then, of course, after that's Christmas. And during this pandemic in the world that's going on, a lot of us have um, added stress to our daily lives, whether it's due to work or lack of work or kids or school or whatever there is. A lot of us are dealing with a lot of extra stress that we um, haven't been dealing, well, haven't dealt with in the past, but over the last, well, going on two years now, we've been dealing with this extra added stress of the pandemic. And I just want to share with you some ways that you can prevent you from getting um, the stress overloading you, um, what causes stress, some tips that you can do. And then, because this is, can be done anytime throughout the year, but because of the holiday season coming up, I thought it'd be a good time to reiterate and go over this stress class again, because the holidays do add a lot of stress to our lives for different various reasons. Now, what is emotional stress? Stress is a normal reaction to the pressures of everyday life. Worry, fear, anger, sadness, or other emotions are also all normal emotional responses on top of the holidays. They are all part of life. However, if the stress that underlies these emotion interferes with your ability to do the things you want or need to do, this stress has become unhealthy. And so we want to go into the holiday season as healthy as we can, as strong as we can, rested, stress-free, because even when we're on top of our game, holidays are difficult to try to keep up with. Um, if, whether it's coming up with finances, whether it's trying to get together with family, whether it's kids or your family being sick, whatever the reason is, everybody deals and has issues during the holidays. And if we can be on to our top game to start with, we're more we're better off once we hit the holiday season. So signs and symptoms of poor emotional health. Now, this is something you might already be dealing with because of other stress issues, or this is something that you could be looking for in yourself, where if you're headed down this emotional path, Consistent feelings of sadness or hopelessness. A lot of people really struggle with this during the holidays and because winter's coming and the days are shorter. But feelings of sadness and hopelessness is something that um, we can help get ourselves through before it gets a hold of us. More than usual, irritability, anger, aggression, or hostility is a a huge thing for emotional um, distress, tearfulness or frequent crying, withdrawal from friends and family, lots of interest in activities that you used to love, changes in eating and sleeping habits, difficulty concentrating due to racing thoughts, risk-taking behaviors. Um, sometimes, you know, people just do crazy things when they're under a lot of emotional stress. And um, also brings on physical complaints, aches and pains and fatigue and migraines are a lot of times signs of emotional stress, extreme fatigue or lack of energy, memory and concentration problems, depression, anxiety, mood swings. These are all signs and symptoms of poor emotional health. Now, this could be, like I said, you could be dealing with this throughout the year. You could deal with it, you know, after the holidays with the post-holiday blues or the seasonal affective disorder. But 
just so you be aware, pay attention to how you're feeling throughout the day as the holidays get closer. Do you feel yourself starting to get any more of these symptoms or any of these new symptoms come about? Start as soon as you start seeing yourself in any of these situations. That's when you want to grab and start doing something for yourself so you don't go down that hole even for, further because the holidays is supposed to be a joyful, happy Thanksgiving time with your friends and your family. And it doesn't have to be stressful. It doesn't have to, to be emotionally on you. You have that choice to um, for which way you're going to go for yourself. So some of the causes of emotional stress, we all, if we have our jobs, we work outside the home and work with other people. There's concerns about job security, especially nowadays, about performance, long hours, low pay, poor working conditions, um, increasing responsibility, a lack of control over work, um, short staff. That's a huge issue right now. A lot of places are short staffed, and so the ones that are working are working double with this um, double the load for the same amount of hours and same amount of pay. You have to work during the holidays. You have a high relationship with a colleague or a manager. These are all work-related um, stress. And home-related stress is you have relationship problems, undergoing major life changes, moving, divorce, um, having a child, job change, death in the family, having low income, experiencing discrimination. Now back to the low income, this is really a big factor this time of year too, especially if you have young kids at home, you know, you want to do your best for your kids. You want to be able to give them a nice Christmas, but you know that if that you can't or something, you know, one of your household bills are, are going to suffer. You're going to have to put it off so you can do something nice for your kids. That's a lot of emotional stress because as parents, we want to give our kids a really good Christmas. Feeling lonely or isolated, having debt, having an unhealthy lifestyle and finding the finances for Christmas this time of year. That's all home emotional distress. So we have a choice of how we deal with this. And I'm going to show you some ways that you can properly deal with it so it doesn't get to you and ruin your holidays and ruin your health and, and um, any other thing. So some of the ways to better cope with emotional stress is take time for yourself. Excuse me. It's very, very important that if you possibly can, five minutes a day, if that's all you've got, take five minutes and just relax. Do some deep breathing. Deep breathing in and out slowly. You know, breathe in for four or five seconds, hold for four or five seconds, and breathe out for four or five seconds. Do that four or five times in a matter of four or five minutes, and you really are going to see a difference. And then I'm going to um, add something to that in just a minute. Um, distract your mind and focus on something else. Sit down. If you're having a really stressful moment, just stop what you're doing. If at all possible, stop what you're doing and just distract your mind. Think of something peaceful and calming. Put on a soothing music or, or something that's going to distract your mind. If you like upbeat, peppy music, if that changes your mood, put that on. Whatever works for you. Journal. I know a lot of times when I have a lot going on in my life and I have a lot of to do things and I'm thinking, how am I going to get all this done? And I, and I'm trying to get one thing done and I have like 10 other things in my mind going and I can't concentrate on that one thing because I'm afraid I'm going to forget the other 10 things. I could not live without pen and paper. I am a list maker. And what I'll do is either the night before or in the morning, I will sit down and I'll write a list of the things that need to be done. And then I'll prioritize them. Okay, this needs to be done today. This needs to be done. And then I'll say, okay, I'll just cross off the first major thing. And then I'll kind of go down as priority wise so I can start crossing things off because it really is there for me, especially. And I know a lot of you out there are like that. It's rewarding when you can cross that off your list because you feel accomplished. You feel like you've gotten something done and you feel good about yourself. So um, do that or just sit down and journal how you're feeling. I'm having a rough day because blah, 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 whatever the issue is, put it down in a journal or write it on a piece of paper, then tear it up and put it in the garbage. You need to get that off of your mind, off your chest, and on, and just release it. And journaling, journaling or list making is a great way to do that. Talk to a trusted loved one or a professional. If you feel you need some professional help, there's absolutely nothing wrong with seeing a professional as long as they're guiding you in the right direction. Or find a trusted family member, friend, a pastor. If you go to a church, find somebody um, and in the church that can help you. 
exercise at least 30 minutes for five times a day if you can do that. And I know exercising totally makes a big difference for me because there was a couple months in the spring I couldn't exercise because I was recovering from surgery. And I tell you what, it made a huge difference in my emotional and my physical well-being by not exercising. And it wasn't a nice difference. It really does make a difference if you can get out and exercise. And if you can't get outside, find an exercise video. YouTube has all kinds of them on there. Get on there and find some that's only 10 or 15 minutes. You don't have to spend an hour exercising. If you've got it, great. If you don't, do what you can do and do what your body's able to do. Do a beginner's um, video or do an advanced one. It all depends on where you're at, what you want to do, what the time you have. It's all up to you. Just do something. Um, set out 10 minutes in the morning to deep breathe and relax. And then when I talk about deep breathing, adding an essential oil, something like a citrus, an orange, a grapefruit, tangerine, bergamot, grapefruit, any of those are in there's a lots of others too, but essential uh, citrus oils are amazing for um, relaxing and uplifting and just really, it clears out your sinuses, it clears out, you know, just gets it in your lungs and it just uplifts you and it just re relaxes you too at the same time. It's just amazing when you add essential oils to um, your deep breathing and you want to make sure you get the right essential oil that it's pure and it's not filled with anything so you're getting the most beneficial health benefits you can from it give your hand uh give yourself a hand massage they have a technique called aroma touch technique that you can you can do it on yourself or you can have a, your spouse or a friend or whoever give one for you and you just take the essential oil and then you just do um a technique called aroma touch and there's different ways that you can do it you can google it aroma touch technique and it's amazing eat healthy this time of year we all are guilty of eating the sugar and this treats and the chocolate because the holidays that's what from now until easter in the spring you are going to have constant candy everywhere because you had halloween and then thanksgiving not so much but then you have christmas then you have valentine's and then you have easter so there's always tons of candy and sugar everywhere during this time of year for the next few months so limit yourself space yourself out eat healthy and then just have a little treat once in a while don't overindulge because all that sugar and all that calories and all that that processed food is just going to weigh you down and it's going to make you harder to fight the depression and the stress and the blues because sugar just brings all that down for you you're going to have a sugar crash getting enough sleep is extremely important you need to find out what works for your body and for me i need a good eight and a half to nine hours of sleep a night so generally i will sleep from like uh, 8 30 to 9 to about 5 30 to 6 and that's when I feel the best because I know even if it's only a half hour to an hour later if I go to bed at 9 30 or 10 and even though I sleep an hour later in the morning sometimes I still will feel a difference that one hour later at night because my body is used to that time frame and when I go off that time frame for too much I don't feel as rested and I feel sluggish and I feel yucky the next day so getting proper sleep getting the enough sleep and getting on a sleep schedule and sticking to it for the most that you can i mean there's always occasions you know if you go out and have a late night or something but for the most part stick to the same schedule and you'll be amazed at how much your body will respond to that and then you can also apply or diffuse a pure therapeutic brand essential oil cptg essential oils will are amazing oils to do especially with emotional distress if you're having any kind of emotional um and we all have emotions but there are so many different essential oils and essential oil brand blends that can help you um with whatever emotion you're dealing with and there's emotional um what we what i call an emotional wheel that is created and it'll tell you if you have this emotion you can use this essential oil if you have this emotion you can use this essential oil so it kind of guides you as to how you're feeling with which oil could be beneficial for you now everybody's different everybody's gonna respond differently but it really does work and i've been using them for three and a half years and i know firsthand it makes a difference 
um, take breaks off. And if you're one that's, uh, you know, has a high demanding job and that's go, 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 go all day long and you can't get your lunch and you can't get your break, it's going to wear on your body. And this time of year, it's going to add more stress to your body. And it's just going to, this is just the beginning of the holiday season. And if you don't slow down now, it's only going to get worse the closer it gets to Thanksgiving and Christmas. So take your breaks, take 10, 15 minutes. If it's nice outside, go for a walk or sit on the bench and get some fresh air and sunshine. If the sun's out, do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself. Because you know what? If you don't, nobody else is going to. So you are responsible for taking care of yourself. And of most of all, avoid smoking and alcohol because that will wear on the body too. So those are a lot of different things that you can do on a daily basis to help cope with and prevent emotional stress. Because if you do a lot of these practices every day, when stress does hit, you're going to be more advanced and more ready to deal with it. Your body's going to be stronger. It's going to be your immune system's going to be built. You're going to be stronger to fight this and you won't have such a, a hard time with the stress. Now, some ways to get better sleep because we all know sleep is highly important you can shut off all your devices that's your phone your computer the tv your tablet whatever that has a screen to it about an hour before going to bed find something relaxing read a book listen to music listen to a podcast um talk to your spouse or your children or do something quiet and relaxing that doesn't pertain to um all this blue light that's all over all of our devices and diffusing essential oils 30 minutes before going to bed so if your bedtime's at nine o'clock you go in your bedroom your kids bedroom wherever you start that diffuser about 30 minutes before which would be about 8 30 and you find an essential oil that you like whether it's a blend or it's a combination of, of single oils or it's just a single oil whatever you like whatever responds to you whatever you have on hand here's a list of some of them restful blend which is serenity and this actually also comes in a soft gel if you don't want or have a diffuser you can take it in a soft gel you have lavender you have vetiver vetiver and serenity are one of my favorite combinations for restful time you have cedarwood you have pedigree you have bergamot adaptive is another blend um, that's great for the emotion and the stress and roman chamomile grounding blend which is a balance and marjoram these are all some of the essential oils that you can choose to put in your, in your diffuser and i diffuse every night before i go to bed and it really does make a difference and also don't ingest caffeine after 2 p.m i know there's a lot of people that say oh caffeine doesn't bother me at all i can sleep all night long and maybe on occasion it you can get away with that, but you might want to try if you are restless or you just can you know, can't just settle down quite, quite there. I mean, you're not wide awake, but you just can't seem to settle down. You can't seem to get into a good deep sleep. Try cutting back your caffeine if you're a caffeine drinker earlier in the day. Establish a bedtime and a wake up time ritual. I already talked about that. Try to eat earlier in the evening because, you know, if you eat a heavy meal at night, what does that meal do? Most of us after six, seven o'clock don't do much except for sit around um, unless you're at work nights, that's different. But if you're a regular daytime worker or at home or with the kids or whatever, come six, seven o'clock after you've eaten supper, you settle down. The kids do their homework, you watch TV, you might do a fold of the laundry. You're not that active and you're not active for very long. And so what does your food do? It just sits in your stomach. And so it's sitting in your stomach, doesn't have a good chance to digest. Like during the day, you're up, you're moving around, you could be exercising, you could be walking to the store, you're walking around at work. So your body is more moving around more to process that food and digest it. But in the evening, your food is just sits there. So the more the heavier you eat in the evening and the later you eat, the more it's going to sit in your stomach and it's going to be harder for you to fall asleep. So try to remember to either eat light and or eat a little bit earlier. Um, exercising during the day is very beneficial to help sleep, but you don't want to exercise too late in the evening. You want to do it, give you at least three hours or sooner before you go to bed because if you get it too close to bedtime, then your body's going to be all wound up and it's not going to, it's going to have a hard time settling down. And then also sleep in a cool temperature room with comfortable mattress and eliminate noise and light. Now I love a cool, I 
like to be warm during the day but when i'm sleeping in my bedroom i like it to be about 55 degrees i like lots of blankets i like to be warm under the blankets but the air that i'm breathing i like to have it cool it helps me sleep i cannot sleep if the air is warm i toss and i turn on i can have fans on i can have anything on but i need the air to be cool in order for me to settle down and sleep and i know a lot of people are like that now, when it comes to essential oils, if you don't have a diffuser, but you have essential oils, the other thing you can do is get a little spray bottle, a glass spray bottle for essential oils, put the essential oil in it, put some water in it, shake it, and do a room spray or a linen bed spray. And I do that actually with my diffuser. And I'll spray my bedding every night with the Serenity blend and it works charm like a like a charm and then in the middle of the night if you're one to wake up say one two three o'clock in the morning and you can't settle down and get back to sleep you have that spray bottle right on your bedside and get it out and do a few more squirts put it on your wrist do some inhaling and then just relax and just settle down back to go back to sleep and trust me it works because i do it all the time now how essential oils can help with emotional stress our emotional health can directly influence how the rest of our body feels and functions. When we are in emotional distress, it lowers our overall quality of life and how we feel day to day. Emotional health affects how we make decisions, how we interact with others, and how we respond to events that happen in life. Things like stress, anxious feelings, changes in the weather, and a host of troubling yet common emotions can negatively influence our mood. So among many resources, we can use essential oils for emotional health by creating a sense of calmness and well-being or producing an uplifting environment. Every essential oil has its own unique chemical profile, but most oils can be categorized as either uplifting or calming properties. Now, these are just some of the examples of uplifting. Most of them are, um, most of them are, honey, I'm doing a live um, uplifting, a uh, wild orange, citrus bliss, cheer, elevation, motivate, cheer, elevation, and motivate, and citrus bliss are all a blend of the that doTERRA has. And then the common essential oils are Melissa, lavender, peace, balance, and past tense. Those are really great for calming. Applying essential oils for emotional benefits. When you're ready to use emotional oils for essential oils for emotional health there are a few ways to effectively experience the potency and power they have to offer when you find the oil you want to use try any of these application methods you can massage it into the base of your skull you can rub it on the inside of your elbow right here you can use an essential oil diffuser you can put a drop in the palm of your hands and inhale scrub it you know put it together like this rub it together and then inhale it and hold and exhale you can rub it into the wrist or the back of your short collar. You can use it like a perfume. Put a little drop or two on the back of whatever you're wearing and you can carry it around you all day long. There's all kinds of ways that you can use essential oils. So this is the end of the class. I want to thank you so much for coming. And I'm going to show you something because if you're interested in any of these essential oils, please reach out to me. Um, you can respond. You can comment on here. You can message me. You can reply to my email if you um, get any of my emails, my newsletters, if you want my newsletters. But I do want to show you. This is my web page. So if you go to livinghealthy4-u.com, this is what's going to come up for you. Now, there's all different things on here. You can get downloads. You can, um, I have ways of building your immune system. I have things about eating healthy, the monthly specials, which are the essential oil specials that doTERRA has every month. I share with you recipes. I have online free classes on here. I, this is the weekly classes, which is what I'm doing now. Um, health video. If you want to contact me, this is another great way to do it. But if you want to learn specifically more about essential oils, you can click on this button right here, which I will in a minute. Or if you want to order any of the essential oils, you can go up here to the top, which is shop. And it's going to bring you to my link. And then you can um, hit shop here again. And then it's going to give you different categories. If you know what you're looking for, you can type it right here in the search bar and like say if you want wild orange you type in wild orange and it'll bring you right to it but if you want to do some searching these are different categories you got single oils you got the blend you got the on guard which is an amazing immune boosting blend 
You, Breathe is a respiratory blend that's great. Deep Blue is a pain relieving blend. Digestin is a digestive blend. And then they've come up with new products and they also have the holiday products. So here are the holiday offers. Abode is a new line they just came out with, which is the cleaning products. You have the dish soap, the laundry soap, the dishwashing pods, the all-purpose cleaner. They have a whole line of cleaning products to replace your toxic cleaners at home. And then they have supplements, they have personal care, they have um, kits, enrollment kits or collections. They have diffusers, bottles. Um, of course, here's the new products. The convention products are what came out in October. So you can go through and do your research and just look at all these. Now I'm going to go back. If you want to learn just about essential oils in general, you want to know more, hit the learn about essential oils right here. And it's going to bring you to my quick links page down here and this is where you can hear my testimony of how i got started into essential oils you can buy the essential oils which is where i just showed you you can access my website you can subscribe to my newsletter or you can learn more about essential oils so this is called my bio tab my quick links tab and this gives you all the basics that you need to know so i just want to show you how my web page works um, you feel free to share this with anybody but I am going to be done sharing. Let's see, stop sharing. So I'm just almost hit the 30 minute mark, but I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys start using these essential oils and start getting a hold of the stress before the stress gets a hold of you. So you have a great, peaceful, relaxing holiday season, whether you spend it with just family at home or if you're traveling or if you're having family coming in, enjoy the time together and don't worry about stress. Things always work out. Just take a big, deep breath and just take it one day, one moment, one project at a time. And just remember today, is today yesterday's gone tomorrow's not here today we need to be thankful for today and reach out to somebody else that's not as, as um blessed as you are help somebody put a smile on somebody's face and let's spread some joy and cheer because we all need it so i hope you guys have a great night a great week and i will talk to you later and don't forget um i'm gonna actually i'm gonna put the link to my um uh, I can't talk and write at the same time. Healthylivingforyou.com. Okay, I just put the link to my webpage in the chat. So it's right there. So reach out to me anyway. I'm here to help. No pressure, no commitment. I just want to share with you the power and the health benefits of these essential oils and how they can totally change your life like it has changed mine. So have a good night, everybody, and I'll talk to you later.